Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be playing some Blue Dofi and OP07 meta. I know, it's fucking crazy. Uh, I've actually been having a lot of fun with Blue Dofi. Um, I started, you know, making him as a joke because I was like, ah, you know, it got some new support, so maybe I'll pl play test around it. And then I played against my friends last night and I was like, oh, hold on, this deck is actually kind of fun to play. Um, so yeah, into our first matchup today, we have a Rob Lucci. It's the Rob Lucci from OP07. Uh, I don't really remember what his effect was, I just remember he got a lot of good support, uh, especially with the new Tempest Kick card, uh, being able to, if you have 10 cards in the trash, you minus 3 and you draw a card, fucking cr pretty crazy. Um, but into our first turn, we play the uh, the Perona, and then here we're going to be stacking our top deck so I can uh, use the leader effect and draw and whatever. So here I'm setting it up so where I can draw the Trafalgar Law 2k, and then I can play the Jinbei off of the leader effect. And I'm probably either going to play the Jinbei with the uh, Gecko Moria, and that's pretty much it, just like into the Gecko Moria that I have in my hand. Or maybe even the Trafalgar Law, if uh, depending on how many cards he has, but it's most likely going to be the Jinbei. So he swings 8k to life and I just take it because I'm like a counter out. I attach 2 Dawn to my leader and then use the card action to play the Jinbei and I'm probably just, yeah. I looked at his card to see if I can play the Trafalgar Law, but I can't. So I play the uh, the Gecko Moria just so I can have a body on board. Um, and in, in retrospect, I probably should have swung 8k, but I mean, he took the, the hit anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but you know, now we're bluffing that we have a counter card. We don't. Um, but yeah, here I was a little confused. I was like, did he play a Rob Lucci or what happened? Uh, I found out he used the Shigon Finger Gun, which trashed the two top cards of your deck and then trash a four cost or less, I think is what it was. Um, but then he's going to swing 6k into our Jinbei, so I'm just going to counter out so I can keep the body on the board. And he passes turn at that. Uh, so I do have the pudding on here and I was debating like, how do I play the pudding? But nah, I'd rather not play the pudding. So I'm just going to play uh, the Trafalgar Law to get rid of his hand size. Um, but I use card action first. Oh, never mind. I had a Trafalgar Law in the in the deck, so we're chilling. I guess past me remembers, and I don't. Um, but he takes the hit for 7k, and then I use the Trafalgar Law 2k to uh, bounce it back to my hand and make him trash, or not trash, uh, bottom deck a card from his hand. Uh, that card is actually pretty crazy. Uh, on play, you uh, or activate main, you bounce the card back to your hand, and if your opponent has six or more cards in their hand, they they have to bottom deck. They have to choose what card to bottom deck, so it gets rid of a card. But uh, after that, I play a Perona, and here I'm stacking my deck so where I can grab the Luffy promo into my hand and then play the uh, Dofi blocker. It was, and then I can probably just after, once I play the Dofi blocker, I'll just uh, I'll um, shuffle my hand again, so it doesn't matter what's after that. But uh, yeah, so I swing 7k with the Jinbei and he counters out with two cards. So in total, uh, this turn I got rid of three cards from his hand. So we're chilling here. Uh, we got down to his, life, to his hand size. We love to see that. So he's going to swing 5k to my Jinbei. And here, I, like he has all of his Don up. So I'm like, okay, he's going to get rid of it. He's probably going to play a Rob Lucci. So I'm going to make him trash the Rob Lucci. Uh, so that way I can at least, in worst case scenario, I can swing with the Perona still and have something on the board at least. So he's going to probably play the Rob Lucci and uh, trash or uh, KO my Jinbei and my Perona. And that way I'll have one Perona still up on the board. So yeah, here he's playing the uh, Saru. And then he's going to minus two my Jinbei and then he's going to Rob Lucci like I predicted. So yeah, and then he's going to pass turn at that. Um, so I do have the Luffy promo, but it does suck because the opponent does choose what to uh, to bottom deck. So if I play the Luffy promo, he's probably just going to bottom deck the Spandom as there's no use in the Spandom anymore. Um, so I'm not going to play it just because there's no point. I'm probably just going to play the uh, the Boa Hancock here and just freezes Rob Lucci so he can't swing with it. And then uh, I get to bottom deck a uh, one cost or less with the Boa Hancock. So I'm just going to bottom deck his 2k so he can't bounce it back. I'm pretty sure there's no way he can bounce it back to his hand. But uh, just to be, you know, just to not bottom deck my Perona, I'll bottom deck his Saru. And then I swing uh, 7k to life and he takes it. So then I pass turn at that. He's going to swing 5k to life, uh, trashing a card and minusing one my Perona. And then he plays a Stussy and KOs my... Uh, What's her name? Boa Hancock, yeah. Uh, so I draw into the Dofi blocker that I put at the top of my deck earlier, and here I'm just organizing how I want to play it. So I'm going to use the leader effect uh, to play the Gecko Moria, probably, and grab a 7 Warlords of the Sea from the trash. And with that 7 Warlords of the Sea, I'm probably going to grab a uh, the Jinbei from earlier, 
the uh, four cost to play a four cost uh, seven warlords of the sea for free. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the uh, Jinbei probably. I could grab the 2k counter, but I'm not going to. And then I'm gonna put the rest of them there in the trash. So yeah, I'm swinging 7k to his life. Uh, let's see if he takes it, he does. And then I'm gonna play a Jinbei to play a Gekko Moria. So that way now I have a lot of board here. Uh, I have bodies so I can swing multiple times with it. And he's at one life already, no blockers up. So it looks pretty good for us. Um, so he's going to use the uh, Tempest Kick to minus 3 the Gekko Moria, and then he's going to swing 5k into our Gekko Moria. Uh, so I'm just going to counter out because I, I want him to, you know, have to remove his board, or to remove my board. Um, so I'm playing kind of defensively with my board here, so that way I can still have some swings. Uh, but then he um, he draws a Kaku with the Spandom, and I'm not sure what happens here, but he's going to swing 6k with the Rob Lucci, and once again I have a bunch of 2ks in my hand, so I'm just going to counter out. And uh, he actually quits right there. I'm not sure why. I think he messed up. He probably wanted to play the uh, the uh, Stussy, but messed up his uh, Dawn management or something. I'm not sure what happened, but he quits after that. So into our next matchup, and this will probably be the final matchup because this match is pretty long. Uh, we play a Vegapunk. I actually had two games of Vegapunk today, but the first one was really short. Uh, I think the person quit. And uh, into this matchup, this was an 11 turn game, so we're going to be going through the turns here. Uh, I had to speed up the video because it was quite long, and I might even speed it up even more. So yeah, I did end up, uh, normally I, rec I put my video playbacks at 120%, but with this video I did put it at 130% because it was quite long. So first turn, we play the Perona, and we're putting the stuff at the top of our deck. So uh, I'm probably going to have it so where I draw into the Perona, play the Trafalgar Law so I can bounce some, or... Uh, grab a card from his deck or from his hand and put it at the bottom and then i think i set it up so i can draw into a uh, a four drop blocker uh four drop boa blocker uh, i'm not sure i don't remember i think there was a, a gecko moria retrieval card in there somewhere but i don't remember where i put it so we pass the turn and he puts a uh, nico robin at the top of his life um so i'm just gonna swing 7k using the leader effect and if he takes it, he's going to grab a bunch of cards here. So I'm just going to use the uh, Trafalgar Law, bounce it back to my hand, and force him to put a uh, card at the bottom of his deck. Uh, and yeah, that was, I mean, it's pretty much the whole turn there. Um, next turn, I'm going to draw into the... Uh, what was it? The, the Boa? I think I, I'm going to draw into the Boa. I, don't, I actually don't remember. I'm, I'm very short to memory. That's like When I first got into the game, it was really hard for me to play Dofi because I couldn't remember what I put at the top of my deck. And I still kind of have these problems. But as long as I keep repeating it to myself when I'm doing it, I'll like remember and I'll be like, okay, this is the game plan. So a lot of the times you'll see me like go back and forth between the cards and be like this, 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 that. But yeah, I play the uh, Perona here, putting the thing, the cards at the top of my deck. And uh, I'm probably gonna make it so where I can use leader effect to get the uh, Gekko Moria here. Uh, play it rested and then uh, draw into the Boa Hancock six cost. And then be able to play the uh, Dofi blocker off of leader effect. And then after that, draw into a 2k law. Um, it was unfortunate though. I didn't remember if I had anything in my trash or not, and I thought the sim was bugging, but it ends up I didn't have anything in the in my trash, so the Gecko Moria didn't really get much play there. Um, Should have probably played the uh, the Law Blocker, in, or not the Law Blocker, the uh, Bounce Law so I can get rid of his hand size again, but it is what it is. So uh, he uses the trigger to play the Lilith and draws a card. He draws a Shaka, and then I knew that like, next turn he was just going to play the Shaka into his life. And he's going to swing 8k at my Gekko Moria. I'm going to counter out here because it is a body and I kind of need my bodies to stick on the board. He can't really remove them other than the 5-drop Luffy and I'm fine with that. You know, if he if he trashes the 5-drop Luffy to trash one of my cards, that's cool with me. Uh, and then he plays the Shirahoshi 2k block or 2-cost uh, blocker. So that is going to be a pain in the ass because he does have a shotgun in life. So he's going to have two blockers. And uh, FYI, those blockers fucking stay the whole match. <laughs> um, and you'll see why. So um, I'm going to play a four, six drop, sorry, six drop uh, Boa Hancock, which makes uh, makes it so where I can set one of the characters on the board. I don't know if it's characters and leaders or just characters, but I can make it so where the characters can attack next turn. And uh, I have to bottom deck a one cost or lower. So I end up bottom decking my Bo, uh, my uh, Perona. I didn't have to, but I just did. So I can, if I really got through my whole deck that throughout the game, I could have just drawn into it again. But uh, he takes the hit from the Gecko Moria and uh gets a shaka so uh 
so he plays the shaka, and then he has the egghead stage, so he can swing with the shaka now and just uh, restand it with the if, with the stage. And he actually surprisingly plays an anel. I wasn't expecting an anel, a rush anel, but uh, I guess he, he has one. So he takes the gecko moria because I'm not gonna counter out of that. Uh, I play the Dofi blocker and I'm reorganizing my deck. I put it at the top and I'm gonna make it so where I can use the leader effect and play a gecko moria. Uh, the bounce law doesn't really have much effect, so I put it towards the bottom so where I can draw into it, or I think I can play into it, uh, next turn. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna play a Boa Hancock here, and I, I shouldn't have swung to, uh, to his, uh, to his face. I should have swung into the Anel to, uh, to either force out a counter or force a block, but, uh, I swung at his face here, thinking that the Zoro, because I didn't read the Zoro, I thought it froze and not a uh, rest um so you know he just takes it and rests the uh, boa blocker um and i completely forgot about that i thought it was gonna be it was gonna make it freeze but i uh, it turns out it rests so he just rests my boa blocker and that kind of fucks me up because i couldn't have drawn into something with the with the uh, boa but it is what it is so he swings 7k into the boa blocker and I just take it because it's, I mean, it's, it did its job it's a, as a blocker. I just didn't get the effect to uh, draw a card. Um, but yeah, so he's going to swing 7k to life and I'm probably just going to take it so I can get more cards in hand because I was running a little low there. And he's going to swing with the shaka again, standing it up at the end of his turn with the uh, egghead stage card. He's never going to swing with the Shirahoshi. He never swung with it the whole game, so... I mean, respectively so. It's a blocker. Why would you swing with it? You can't restand it either with the Egghead uh, stage card, so... There's no point in swinging with the Shirahoshi. But he has all this Dawn up, so let's see what he's going to do here. He uses the leader effect, putting the Lilith at the top of his life. And, uh... So now it's like... Okay, and then he plays a uh, Jinbei. I don't know. I think the Jinbei is a vanilla, so... He just has a body on the board. Um... Here I was kind of debating if, you know, I'm at my 10, 10 dawn turn, so if I really wanted to, I can play the 6k, or not the 6k, the 6 drop uh, boa, and then play the Jinbei into the uh, Gecko Moria there to fill my board with attackers. Uh, I don't think I want to do that, just because, uh, I don't know, it, I could have done it, but I kind of wanted to swing at his board here, so I needed the dawn to be able to swing into it. So I swing 5 into the Lilith. And at, uh, at this point, I was thinking I should play the Jinbei, but I should have attached the Dawn onto the Doflamingo leader and uh, swung more with the uh, into the Lilith, causing him to either block it or... Um, or he did block it with the Shaka or uh, use counter, but uh, he just blocks it with the Shaka for free. So here, I'm just thinking, like, what can I do here? So I'm going to swing 6k with the uh, Perona into the Lilith, and he's going to counter out with the 2k. And then I'm going to swing uh, 8k, because I forgot. Uh, it's actually crazy. This fucking boa blocker, or this boa character is an 8, 8k power. So I swing 8k into the uh, Lilith, and I think he lets it die. He doesn't use the blocker. Uh, and then I play another boa to freeze. I'm not freeze, but I mean uh, uh, make it so where his anel can't attack. And then I bottom deck a Perona. Um... So yeah, his Anel can't attack. He has his Shaka and his Jinbei swings. He won't swing with the Shirahoshi, so I know at most two attacks are going through unless he has another another Rush Anel. Uh, and I don't think he does. So I'm going to defend this Boa because this Boa is way too valuable. It's an 8k body. It's just way too good. So he's going to swing 10k with the Jinbei and I'm just going to block or I'm going to counter out here because I have I have the cards too. And uh, I know he's going to swing with the Shaka, so I'm going to keep the, bo the blocker up for the Shaka. Uh, especially because he has all that Dawn up, so if I blocked with the Jinbei attack, he would have just attached all the Dawn onto the Shaka and then actually been able to KO the the Boa because I had no counter. I, I didn't have enough counter to, to counteract that hit, so I blocked the Shaka attack, and then he's going to use Leader Effect to play something. I don't think he puts a life, and honestly, he should have been putting all this in his life instead of playing it. Uh, I think that would have been way more annoying, but I do draw into another 6-drop Boa, so uh, here I'm kind of just like, okay. I uh, give two Dawn to the leader and then I'm just gonna use the card action and see what I get, hoping for something that's gonna help me here. Cause I, at this point I'm doing this uh, leader action blind. And uh, it is a Dofi blocker, so that does help us here. We can uh, start placing stuff at the top. 
I'm gonna make it so where I can draw into the boa blocker next and then uh, the Trafalgar law doesn't really help me here so I'm gonna make it so where I can play a Jinbei uh, from the Leer effect draw into the Trafalgar law 2k and then uh, after that it's just more 2ks so I swing 7k to the Jinbei surprisingly he lets it go I think he should have uh, made it so where I had to swing into it more I think he lets it go here uh, he could have used a Shirahoshi or you know just let it go or uh you could have used a shirahoshi to make me swing into it again um but yeah i really wanted to get that jinbei out just because he had a lot of swings at this point he had four swings and uh you know with one of those swings he could restand it at the end of his turn so he lets it go surprisingly he should have used a shirahoshi there and it would have been actually more of a pain in the ass for me but i played the other six drop boa and i freeze his anel once again so now he only has two swings um uh, unless he does in fact have another anel but I don't, I don't remember if he does or not. Um, but yeah, at this point, it was kind of getting like a little scary because like I could not get rid of that anel, or you know. And I did swing with the other boas because I wanted him to swing into me so I can get life and get more cards in hand. Um, but he swung into the uh, Dofi blocker there, so I just let it guy die. Um, and I also didn't want him to um, to get the trigger Lilith there and search for another card. Um, he had two cards in hand, so I just wanted him to stay at a low card hand size just because I didn't want him to be getting more answers to a lot of my stuff, you know? Or getting more cards that are going to be very annoying to deal with. So he swings uh, 8k, I think it was. I don't remember if that Frankie is a 6k or not. He swung 7k. I just read the chat. So he swung 7k into me and I just take it. And then he plays an Edison. And I was really thrown off on why he played the Edison because the on play effect doesn't really help. He should have put it at the life. But even then, the life doesn't help it either. Uh, but I guess it's just for a body. So uh, here, I'm just going to... I know I have the Jinbei in the uh, leader effect. So I'm going to use the leader effect, play the Jinbei, and then play the Boa blocker. So I can uh, have it ready for the end of my turn. Uh, I do got to attach the Dawn on it so I can uh, draw into a card. And here I was like, okay, I do want to play the Gecko Moria. And, uh, you know, what can I grab? So I'm going to play the Gecko Moria, and I have three Dawn up, so I'm just going to grab a Dofi Blocker and play the Dofi Blocker. I was playing a little bit more defensively at this point. So I swing uh, 8k into his life. I think he takes it here. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, with these boas, I'm just going to start going. I'm just going to start going at him, you know. I'm going to keep swinging into him with the boas. So these are going to be three 8k attacks coming in. He either has to block them or just take them. I think it would have been better to just uh, take them. I'm not sure. Yeah, I wouldn't know. But he takes it. He plays the Lilith from the trigger. And let's see what he grabs. He grabs another Shaka. So that's going to be fun. He's going to play that uh, next turn. Um, so then I swing 8k again to life. And let's see if he blocks it or takes it. He blocks it, getting rid of the Shaka. So that's one blocker I don't have to deal with anymore. And that's also one attack that I also have to deal with. Uh, and then I'm gonna swing 8k again. He just blocks it with the zero cost event, or the zero cost, uh, the zero k blocker, Jesus. And then I play the Dofi blocker just so I can have another blocker and defend the boas more. Um, and I'm reorganizing the, uh, or I'm looking at the the hand here. And uh, at this point, I really needed to get rid of that anel, so I bottom decked all of that just so I can hope that I can uh, draw into a you know a red rock or a uh, gravity blade raging tiger i think is what it's called uh because i really needed to get rid of like some of his uh board here and i wasn't getting any of my board clear cards um so yeah he swings uh 10k to the boa i let it die and then he swings 8k to my other boa i counter out with my 1k he swings another 8k and then i just block it and then he's gonna use leader effect to put something at the top of his life, I'm guessing. Oh no, he plays a he plays a shaka from leader effect. And then he's probably gonna use the uh, stage card here to restand either the Lilith or the uh, the Edison, I think is what it's called. I don't remember what his name is, but uh, he restands his Lilith. He has two cards in his life, two cards in hand, only one blocker. So I'm thinking like, here I have uh, four attacks. I would need to swing him four times because he has two life. He has one blocker, so that's three hits, and then I would have to hit him one more time to uh, to KO, like to end the game. So that was way too risky for me. 
So I'm just going to go for his board here. I swing 7k into his, um, what is it, his Edison. And at this point, I do get a crocodile. Uh, I get a crocodile at the top of my deck. And I was like, um, I'll deploy it just so I can have a body for next turn. But realistically, I should have... Um, I should have left it there so I can draw into it with the boa blocker next turn. Or when it's on his turn, so when I block with it, I can draw into that 2k. Luckily though, um, me playing the crocodile actually kind of saves me here. So uh, we'll see why. So I swing 10k and 8k to his anel. Uh, he counters out of the first one. And then with the 10k, he takes or he uses the uh, anel effect to trash the top of his life and keep it on board. And I was debating if I should swing with the... Uh, the ball blocker here, but I don't because, because uh, you know I, I'm gonna need it to to you know protect my boas here. Um, so I just give the dawn to her and I pass turn so I can block with her and draw into a card. So I swing seven k to life. I'm gonna take it just so I can have a card and I get the promo Luffy for my life. It, it came way too late at this point. I mean it still it it still is gonna help, but uh it it would have been really nice early on he swings 5k or 7k into my 5k uh, crocodile i just let it die because i mean there's no point in protecting that and then he's gonna swing with the shaka here to probably my uh my boa and i'm just gonna block it with my boa blocker because i i, I i'm telling you guys these 8k bodies were so valuable to me i had three of them and i have two of them still on the board and i'm just constantly swinging 8k minimum with them so it's like super strong especially into the anel I honestly think he should have just constantly been swinging into my boas because the boas were just so valuable here. But I block with the uh, boa blocker, protecting my 8 drop, or AK uh, boa, and I actually do end up getting a gravity blade raging tiger. Uh, so it is going to help me now because I can just bottom deck his two blockers. And uh, he does have the Zoro that can rest one of my, uh, my uh, attackers. Um, so instead of going for life and trying to go for game here, because there's no way I can win now with that Zoro in the trigger, I'm just going to clear his board. Uh, so I'm going to swing 5k, probably, yeah, I'm going to swing 5k to the uh, Lilith, and he can't really counter out because he has no cards in hand, so he lets it die. And um, and in retrospect, I probably should have uh, swung uh, 7k with the leader and then used the leader effect to uh, top deck something and see what I can get. But it is what it is. I swing seven or 8k to his anel and he lets it die so and then i just swing 11k with the uh the boa hancock here he takes it doesn't use the trigger because he can't and uh so now i know he has 1k counter at least but um he has no attackers either his leader can't swing so he's just gonna play the uh zoro into his life and then play another rush anel um and he's probably gonna go for the boas here let's see waiting for him to decide what he wants to do he swings 9k into the boa and i just counter out um i'm not gonna let those boas die i get a trafalgar law 2k into my hand from drawing so once again i'm just gonna swing into his anels i could have gone for game here maybe no i actually couldn't have gone for game so again i'm just gonna swing into his anel force him to either trash it or trash the top of his life and keep it up and then uh just go for it again but uh he lets it die so I'm not going to really play anything here. I'm just going to swing and uh, yeah, probably going to swing with the boa because I want that 8k swing to go through, you know, and then he's going to take it resting my leader and I'm fine with that, you know, because he trashes that card. So there's nothing he can play to swing into my boas at this point. So I'm good with them, you know, being rested. Um... And if he does play another Rushanel, you know, it is what it is. My bows die. Actually, no, he would have swung 9k again. And then I would have just uh, countered out. But, um, yeah, so he just surrendered because he knew I had game next turn. So it was uh, GG's for me there. Turn 11 turn game against Vegapunk. That was, uh, yeah, that was not fun to deal with. Um, sorry for the cutout audio there. But, um... Yeah, Blue Dofi has been actually really surprisingly fun. Um, I'm surprised how it's been doing against, you know, some of these decks. I was expecting it to just absolutely get dogged on, but it is surprisingly good. There is a lot of support for it now. So, 
I'm probably gonna make it an, an OP07. Will I main it? Not likely. I will main Bonnie because Bonnie is just way too much fun for me right now. But I will side main Dofi probably. Because right now, at this time, I have Yamato, which Yamato hasn't been really performing as I wanted to. So I'm probably gonna side main that one as well. But I'm gonna main Bonnie. I'm gonna side main Dofi, side main Yamato. And if I really want to, I do have my red green law deck still, and that is also getting more support. So I probably will be making more, uh, a couple more videos with red green laws new support on the sim. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna be, you know, just deciding what next videos are gonna be coming out and what next decks I'm gonna be playing. So I now have four decks that I'm really enjoying right now. So yeah, expect more videos. Don't know of what deck though. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support you guys have been leaving in my videos recently. It really means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Peace.